Welcome back to another edition of my shorts right here at the Rant and Share. Smoking a lame excuse for a lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems in between cups of coffee, and get mom up in the morning time. Well, I get up usually in the morning, and uh, I'm a little worse for wear, especially when it rains. Uh, muscles hurt. I can't move, so I'm going to go soak in the hot shower. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, Bill's Side Preparedness, I believe there's your channel name. It, it, it's early in the morning, and I'm still a little foggy. I didn't sleep very good. But uh, she had a rant about immigration and how people get here, and I actually have seen this up close in person, to her point. And I have some more to elaborate on. And what the hell, you know, as smaller channels, you know, we all share each other's shit out and, you know, hang out with each other. Some of us drunk dial one another. You know, just random fuckery and foolery and shenanigans so how do the beaners get up here and yes i said beaners it's term of endearment i come from the barrio you know don't test my gangsta well it's quite simple um there are about three ways to get in they climb over the wall they go through the wall they go under the wall or they just walk through the damn stall in Mexico and America, you know, like if you're a Mexican citizen, basically if you have a passport, you can just literally walk through. And as long as you behave while you're here, they don't really have any interest in rounding you up and sending you home. Now, if you ain't got your papers, yeah, it's me and Fuego heckling one another. Now, if you ain't got your papers, you know, no comprendo green card, hombre. Well, never fear. Uh, the coyotes will get you across and a lot of them pay in cash to get over here and it's sad really because a lot of them get fucking exploited real bad a lot of them to pay their way across they carry around a big old bale of fucking dope with them <sighs> you know or when they get across here they have to steal cars and steal guns and shit depends on how tied up in the gang you are right like I said, one of my best friends was from East L.A., man. He was a beaner gangbanger with face tattoos. Little fella. Drove around a 64 Impala with about $200,000 worth of shit in the thing. Just the most beautiful fucking car you'd ever seen. You know, and his family, that's how they came here. You know, and they called them either wetbacks or scratchbacks. And a little, little bit of a... Uh... Rantus Interruptus. Anyway... Uh, they call them wetbacks or scratchbacks. And I'll give you a little clue. The wetbacks swim across, the scratchbacks crawl under the fence. Okay? Now, if you're in good standing, like if you're not a criminal, you can just basically walk across the U.S.-Mexican border without any trouble. You know, most people don't even get stopped or searched or anything. It's like, oh yeah, how long are you going to be in America? Okay, cool, have fun. They don't care. But if you got criminal charges, they're going to catch you at the border. So that's where your trade comes into it. It's, it's the skin trade, essentially, you know. And a lot of these cartel dudes are doing some pretty fucking evil shit on their side of the border, man. Um, they like little kids, and they steal them, and they send them down there to do nefarious things. And shit kids should have no business doing. Uh, they steal a lot of firearms here in the United States, or they buy them illegally knowing full well they're not allowed to have them and they send them back and it's it's become its own weather pattern here because like they'll go to a state like colorado or idaho or montana or wyoming to gun shows where you can just basically buy anything you want for cash and some unethical people will knowingly sell things like the barrett 50 to them and they'll take them down there and they'll just fucking start killing each other so like I can see the multifaceted point to this. About 90% of the people coming across the border just want the American dream. Okay? They just want to feed their family. They just want to come to America, drive a Pontiac, maybe have some Zacates, you know, run their own business, do whatever. A lot of them up in this part of the world are migrant workers. They pick fruit for a living. They pick vegetables. They take jobs that white people do not want to do. 
In fact, it's bad enough here they will not hire a white person to do it because, like, it's a generational thing. A lot of these people pick fruit for a living. Rant is interrupt us again. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I don't want the neighbors to hear me talking to myself. They already think I'm crazy enough. But basically, I, the only way I see making this problem any better is twofold. One, make Mexico make itself better so people don't want to come to America. And number two, put landmines and things like that on the border and really stiffen things up, you know, to keep out the nefarious types. And like I said, about 90, 95% of these people, they just want to come to America and fucking have a better life for themselves. A lot of the people I grew up with, their their parents and their grandparents didn't speak no English because uh, they crawled under the fence or swam across the Rio Grande when it was shallow out. And, you know, none of them ever were a problem that I ever met. Now, their kids and their grandkids became a little pain in the asses later because they think that Mexico is the greatest thing ever and they don't like America. But the vast majority of these people are hardworking Catholics that, uh, just like you and me. So, you know, th there's a multifaceted approach to this, and I don't have an answer. If I did, they probably wouldn't listen to me anyway. And uh, I know damn well they wouldn't put me in charge because uh, the solutions I have to life's problems are a little more brutal and drastic than they are willing to embrace. And on that note, this lame excuse for a fucking lucky strike's burning my fingers and I need more coffee and get mom out of bed. So I will yak at you later.